Do you want to learn how to make money on YouTube using a very strange but intriguing method? And the best part, if you're camera shy, then you'll not need to show your face or be on the video yourself. There are some YouTube creators doing exactly this method that are making thousands of dollars every single year. This video is going to show you how to make money on YouTube without making videos. It's a full tutorial. This process is beginner friendly. Unlike some other channels, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, as well as the YouTube creators that are proving it's possible to make big money if you're willing to put the work in. So if you're looking to make money on YouTube, watch the entire video as I'm going to demonstrate exactly what you need to do and show you a real example that you can model yourself. This will be the full process and not just the highlights reel. At the end, I'll tell you my biggest secret to making money on YouTube. This is what you're going to learn from this video. How to create videos that are proven to work on YouTube. A great niche that people find oddly interesting. A way of creating YouTube videos without showing your face. A working example and each step that I take. And the biggest secret to making money on YouTube. So what is it and how does it work? Well first, let me show you this exact strategy of how to make money on YouTube without making videos. It's an interesting little niche that plays on the viewer's curiosity. It's a clever use of storytelling but using data. Basically, bar charts that race across the screen and tell a story. In other words, you're using data to show something interesting. But that sounds really geeky and boring. But does over $100,000 a year sound boring to you? Do what you've got to do, my friend. Plus, this could be anything. It could be the highest grossing films of all time, the most decorated football teams in the world, the highest paid actors, anything. Look at these three channels. This is what they're making. And the beauty of it is that it's entirely possible for you to do the same. So let me show you how and create an example with you. In my example, I'm going to create a video showing the top 10 billionaires from year 2000 to the year 2020. In the description, I'll link to the final video too. So if by the end of this video you get anything out of it at all, I would really appreciate it if you went and watched the full two minute video. So this is one of the biggest channels in this niche and it's called Data is Beautiful. And if we scroll down and we look at some of the videos, this video here, most popular TV series from 1986 to 2019, has had 15 million views. That's pretty epic. But there's tons of different interesting video types in there. Another example is the rankings. It's got over 300,000 subscribers. And again, if we have a look, they've got various different uh, subject types in here. So we've got valuable sports teams, YouTube channels with the most subscribers, top 10 companies by market capitalization. So basically, it's anything and everything to do with stats and data. You've really got to geek out on this stuff. If we click on this button here, we can see on Social Blade that data is beautiful. It's actually earning almost $700,000 a year. The rankings is earning 57,000 a year. And this is another one, animated stats, 133,000 subscribers. Again, there's nothing here that you can't replicate. I'm gonna show you exactly how. So various different videos on various different types and subjects. So let's have a look on Social Blade. What are these earning? These are earning 118,000 a year. Yes, that's an estimate, but most YouTubers that I know of that are monetized with display ads are earning roughly the top end of these estimates, if not more. So this is called a racing bar chart video. If you look at it, it's basically a timeline. You can see that the months and years are, are going forward and the various different lines are gonna be moving. And it's, this one in particular is basically talking about the most money grossing movies. So there's various different things you can do, but it's basically data that is visualized and you can, you can apply that to any kind of topic or subject that you wish. Step two, this is actually the hardest part. Master this and the rest you can run on autopilot. So what do we need to present these stories and visualize data? We need some data. So you can pay for data or you can get it for free. Let's assume that you're just getting started and you want to do it for no cost. Depending on the subjects, there may be sites that have all the data on. For example, if you want to create a video on fellow YouTubers and maybe the most channel views or most subscribers, then you could use socialblade.com. But depending on what that data, what that topic is, there are other sites out there that could be really useful. So here's some of the ones I found that a lot of people are using to create these videos. This site's called Kaggle and it's basically a collection of data sets. 
Don't get me wrong, I have no idea what's going on, but there's lots and lots of data in here. It looks like these people like to scrape data and assemble data from various different places, and they put it on here and some of this that you can use. So if we look there, English Premier League stats from the last season. Another one is worldbank.org. So again, this has got a host of, I'd like to say interesting information, but to be honest, most of it is not interesting whatsoever. Um, crude oil, excess capacity. But depending on what kind of videos you want to create, there some, could be some great data on there as well. Information is beautiful. If you go to their site and there's various different things here, there's some information on seaweed. Who doesn't love a good video about seaweed data? It's one of my favorites. Keeping it more mainstream and we've got Google Trends. So you can type something into Google Trends. Let's type one of my favorite hobbies and what I build my business on and that's affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is gonna give us some data so you can change the timelines here so you can actually look at the past five years and beyond that as well. So 2004 to present. And what you could do is you can download this data to a CSV file. You can look at related queries. So you could look at how many search terms there was in Google. Um, but it just gives you an idea of some of the data out there that you can search for, related topics. And like I say, there's information available for all of these. Reddit is a great source of information. In fact, Data is Beautiful has actually got its own subreddit on here. So there's tons and tons of information in here. You're best off checking that people are okay with you using that information, but you can see there, there's another bar chart race. People are putting them on there just to share them, and it's also showing exactly, uh, exactly what stats and data could be of interest to your audience. Something to bear in mind, if you want to have a look at other videos for inspiration and to see where they get their data from, if we just scroll down a tiny bit and have a look in the, um, the description of the actual videos that are on there, Let's just expand that. So it actually tells you the data source. So in this video, they're getting their data from FIFA.com. But you'll find most people cite their references. They cite where they're getting the data from. So have a look at what else is out there. See, see where they're looking. So for the example video that we're going to create now, I'm going to be using Wikipedia. Again, a perfect source of information. What isn't on Wikipedia? And it also puts the sources that they cite and all the reference points as well. So I found this article, The World's Billionaires, and it's taken a lot of the information from Forbes that always does that top 100 rich list. So if we scroll down, it actually gives us each year and it gives us the top 10 billionaires. So all I've done is I've taken that data and I've typed it into a file. And I'm going to show you that in a second because you're going to need to know how to structure that file. That is going to be essential to creating these bar charts. Now, don't get me wrong. If you've got more money than time, go and pay someone to do this. You'll be able to find someone on Fiverr.com that will probably do this for relatively little cost. But in this case, I want to show you how to do the entire process yourself. So that's what it's about. Right, from this point, it's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But before we jump to the next step, can you hit the comments and tell me what your biggest fear is about YouTube? Why is it that you want to create videos but not be on them yourself? Maybe your job doesn't allow it or English isn't your first language. Maybe you're shy or an introvert like me. Let me know in the comments, guys, so I can create even better videos just for you. Okay, so I've finished adding my data to a spreadsheet. Now you can use Google Sheets or you can use Excel, whatever you've got to, to create these spreadsheets, just put it in there. Now we're gonna upload this to a website called Flourish. This site does all the hard work for us. It is awesome. It's a visualization site. It's an app that lets people tell stories using data. Now that may seem complicated at first, but trust me, I created my very first video, including the painstaking data collection in two hours tops much less time than it sometimes takes me to create my normal videos. So as you can see on Flourish, we point it towards our data and it needs to be in a certain format and use columns. So if you see this page here, we click on data and we've basically uploaded data. So we click on upload data and we import that spreadsheet that we were creating. Now, if you look at these columns, this is how we structured our spreadsheet. So I've got an image in column A, I've got the name in column B, then the data, the bit that makes it race across the screen is actually in the other columns as well. And all you have to do is on the side here is you basically have to just tell it what's in each one. So for example, image, the image that it's going to put on the bar is in column A. Now, depending on what you're creating your video on, that may be in a different way. But trust me, it's really easy to learn, really easy to pick up. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to show you a little ninja trick. So go back to Excel. What might happen is when you copy and paste quite a lot of 
data off websites, it tends to be in the wrong structure, the wrong order. So if you can see, we've got all of our um, columns here with the data going across. So when you download a lot of this data, it can actually be in the wrong direction. It can be horizontal. So here we've got the names at the top and we've got the data going down. Well, that's no use to us because for Flourish, we need to do it the opposite way around. So if you've got Excel and that's where you're creating your data file, here's a little ninja trick. Copy all of the data that you need. Then go to a blank cell, click on paste, and you want this little transpose button there. So that is how you basically sort your data so that you've got it into columns. So that little ninja trick should save you a little bit of time, or at least the half an hour it took me clicking on every button in Excel. But let's go back to Flourish. So there's very little we need to do in here. So we basically put our data in. It's already organized, already sorted. On the side here, we basically then point it at, tell it what column is what, and then we go to Preview. Now, as you can see, there's my video. Now, there's a few extra things I've put in here, and I'm going to show you quickly some of the main bits that you might want to change. Don't let it over phase you though, know, it's really easy to use. So you've got various options on the right hand side, such as bar colours. So it could be that you want a certain theme, a certain colour palette. I'm happy with the one we've got there. Then you've got images. So what the image is, is basically, if you look at the side here, you can see each person, I've actually created like a little, um, a little picture of their face. So if you go back to our data file, that's actually in column A. Let's take this one for example. When I created my data file, I've got a picture there of Bill Gates. I literally just went to Google and did Bill Gates PNG and images. And I basically just copied one of these. So copy image address and paste that into your data sheet. That way we've got a little uh, picture. So it could, be, it could be a flag, it could be a picture of a person, it could be a, the front cover of a movie, it could be anything. It all depends on what you're trying to create. Go back to preview and there's, there's various different options in here. Most of them you don't need to bother with, but the more confident you get, the more that you can change it. I've put like a little background image in there as well of some money, very, very faded. So I just created that in canva.com and then copied it in. Layout as well, we can go down to layout, you can change the font. That's where we put the background image. We can actually change that if we wish. We can actually turn the image off. We can put the color on and we can change that background color as well. So I'm not going to leave it as this because won't, it won't look very good, but uh, there you go. There's, uh, there's plenty of different options in. The main thing is not to overcomplicate it. Step four, and we're almost done, but one little catch. If you want to download these, then basically you're going to have to pay, and I think it's round about $49 a month. Now, I'm guessing that you don't want to pay $49 a month until you've proven that you can make a success out of this. Normally, you would just download them. And whilst I said this is how to make money on YouTube without making videos, we're going to cheat just for a second. So I use my favourite film editor, Filmora. I've put a link in the description. But you can use any screen recording tool that you like, such as Loom. Just play the visualisation and record the screen. So if we just go back to that, there's a little button here that does full screen. So all I did was I set that going and just played it and recorded the screen. Step five is the finishing touches, and all I did was I created a solid thumbnail using Canva.com, which is free. I do recommend the paid version, but the free version is pretty awesome as well. Make it stand out as YouTube rewards those that get the clicks. Step six is to add some music to your video too. If you're stuck for where to find music, if you go into YouTube Audio Library, there's tons and tons of free music that you can use in there as well. Remember, the viewer is basically staring at a screen. That music will help keep their brain engaged. YouTube has a selection of tracks that you can use. So if you want to watch my final effort, then it will be the next video that comes up, and it's in the description. But before you go, I said at the start that I would tell you my biggest secret to making money on YouTube. Here it is. No matter what technique, niche, strategy that you use, you need to be consistent and stick at it, even when it's freaking ridiculously hard. When you're struggling, that shows that you're growing, you're pushing yourself, and there's no more important a time to power through. 95% of people will fail, and do you know why? They've got a fixed mindset instead of a growth mindset. People with a growth mindset know that they can get better by working hard. They keep trying even when things are tough. And they say things such as, I can't do this, but I will get better. Or, mistakes help me learn. People with a fixed mindset feel differently. They're stuck with the way things are. That's if they can't do something, then that's final. There's no point in trying. A fixed mindset can happen to anyone at some time or another, but it's important that we choose to have a growth mindset. Keep trying and stick with the challenges. 
The choice is yours, my friend. Me personally, I create videos about making money using social media. My favorite business model by far is affiliate marketing. It's basically where you're recommending products and services in exchange for a commission if someone buys via your link. It's a $12 billion industry that most of the big retailers participate in. The best part is you don't have to worry about the product design, manufacturing, packaging, logistics, handling, customer service, repairs, warranty. That's up to the manufacturer. That's their problem. All you've got to worry about, your sole focus, is just to use the power of social media to tell them why they need that product. Now, because so many people are having great success with affiliate marketing, it means the game is getting tougher. The bar is getting higher. So you need to know more than just the basics, which is why I've added a link below to some free training. Jump into the description, have a good watch. Remember that growth mindset. And I want to hear all about your success stories.